Hey guys, HMK here back again with another analysis video, but this time we're going to take a look at the exclusive gameplay that was shown off at the Game Awards of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we got Bill and Nate from the Nintendo Treehouse playing the game. And uh, for the most part, they point out everything that, you know, usually would be like a secret or anything like that. But I would still like to, you know, gloss over and, you know, really read what they say and also take a look at things that they really didn't. So how about let's get into it. First off, we see a bird being named Cass, and this is probably more likely uh, someone of the same race of that bird that we saw in the Breath of the Wild uh, Life in the Ruins uh, trailer. And these are not Ritos. These are guys who are just literally, little, literally, they're, they're walking birds. They're walking birds, and their 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 wings make their hands. Uh, the Rito tribe, they are humans with bird beaks on their nose, and they have hands and feet and everything, but uh, their hands can transform into wings when they need to fly. But these things, they're they are birds! <laughs> they're walking birds, and this guy's a freaking parrot. Look at him. Cass. Ah, oh, we meet again. Good to see you well. So, apparently this guy's role is to give you clues and tell you songs of the area or his people and everything, and he's like, you know, playing an accordion. So, he's just there, just chilling. Would you like to hear the ancient verse passed down in this region? At first, I thought it was like, oh, would you like to hear the song of my people? But it's actually, you know, uh, just, you know, something he plays from this region, right? And, of course, that will give you a clue of what these guys are looking for. And they're going to look for a shrine or a temple of some sort. Uh, excellent. Without further ado, and he goes on to sing the song at any point. But, you know, Bill and Nate, they're having their conversation here. So it's taking some time. And... Where the dragon's mouth meets the serpent's jaws. Dude. And also, while he's playing in the accordion, he actually plays, like, I would say the pseudo theme of Breath of the Wild. And uh, that's very interesting. Where the dragon's mouth meets the serpent's jaws. And uh, the shrine sleeps in the forest with noble cause. And I gotta say, you know, this this video, this gameplay video, is like, the, fra the frame rate is just so off. Like, what is this, like, 20 frames per second nonsense? Like... Boy, like, step up your game. So, uh, Link is, you know, just going around uh, in this uh, forest or whatever. And it looks like that uh, he's coming across, like, the serpent. And this place is called the Zonai Runes, uh, Runes which is really cool. And uh, also, you know, I gotta point out, Link is uh, seems to be uh, carrying a standard Hylian Knight shield. And you can see the crest on it, but it seems a little be beating up. And here we're going against Lizoflos, Bill and Nate going against Lizoflos. And I gotta say, the the garment that Link has looks pretty damn balling. It's like it's it's a combination of red, green, a shoulder pad for protection. And this guy is getting ready to fight. Looks like a lightning Lizoflos. So it looks like enemies will have some sort of like elemental prowess or just the Liz uh, Lizoflos. You know, we'll have to wait and see. And this guy just does like an EMP shockwave, an AOE type deal. And he's like, oh, don't make sure he doesn't do that. And uh, if you are in that wave, it looks like you're probably going to get smoked. And then uh, one thing we got to point out, this guy is fighting uh, the Lazoflo. He's like, you know, sword swipe. And I got to say, the swiping effects of this game looks pretty damn cool. Like, it's like, it's seamless. This guy, uh, you know, jumps back. And then he does a jump attack of his own. Just wait for it. And... Ooh, boy. You about to get smacked. And boom. This guy took seven freaking hearts away from Bill. And look at Bill's face. Oh, no. Ah, I can't even do, like, the back and forth thing anymore on this thing. The frame rate is just so awky. They need to fix this. Yo, Link's arms and whatever in this... Ah, dang, look at that. Look at that ragdoll physics. It's like his arm is behind his head. That's nasty. That's disgusting. So this dude got grade A wrecked. And now here we actually have a shot of Link's armor or Link's uh, tunic. We don't really have a name because they don't go all the way down here. But uh, here we see his uh, weapons. It looks like he has the soldier's broadsword. Uh, that weird double cross sword that we did see in uh, the first Breath of the Wild trailer from uh, E3, the first actual trailer, uh, a torch, uh, looks like to be some sort of claimer with 38 power, Jesus, a Korok leaf, uh, and this is a lightning rod, because he has selected a lightning rod, which has five, and it, you know, pretty much is like zappity, zap, zap, double D, and this seems to be some sort of disgusting looking spear, so then they're like, oh, you gotta, you gotta eat something, man, you're gonna get smoked, what are you doing, this guy has a lot of food, we can see salt, apple, truffles, mushroom, uh, lizard, carrot, tentacle, wings, and then we can see that uh, this kind of like alludes to, and we already know this, that there's going to be different elements of um, 
enemies, uh, most notably Keyses, right? There's a regular Keys wing, Ice Keys wing, and probably a Lightning Keys uh, wing. And then we have flints and other materials. But now we got to go to foods and stuff. So we got steak, fried green vegetables, a blue a blue potion or a blue elixir. And uh, he's going to go ahead and have a hearty fried wild greens, full recovery. And it's probably going to grant him, yep, uh, some yellow hearts. So we're going to go ahead and eat it. And also interesting here, you can actually go to an adventure log and a system. You know, I'm pretty sure this wasn't here. But dang, 4,000 rupees? Boy, where'd you get that? Share the wealth. To it so this guy a link is eating all this stuff oh whoa 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 dude don't your mouth full and stuff trying to swallow that down i know it's vegetables but i mean vegetables ain't that nasty people are lying to you but i can't really get over this frame rate so apparently they've come up to a shrine uh this seems to be like a like a dungeon type deal this does look like uh i would say like the seats of a coliseum but why would a coliseum be in a forest like this all right right there metal gets solid they guy these guys noticed them Exclamation point. Oh, be careful. All right, so here comes another... Uh, I don't know if this is a Lasoflo because, I mean, they have lizard weapons. But these guys look like... I mean, they, they change from time to time. And this guy is having a bow. So this guy is ready to smack them. And no, that wasn't a slash from Link. That was actually a lightning arrow that an enemy shot. So there goes a strengthened Liza, Lizal bow that you can get. Uh, there you can have Moblin bows, regular bows, and this is a Lizalflo. So, you know... Each enemy is going to have their own class of weapons, looks like it. So that's cool. And then Bill Trin is about to get smoked. Now you can see right here that this guy is charging up the lightning arrows the same way as the arrows would, the other elemental arrows would be charged up the fire, ice, and uh, the mysterious energy arrow that uh, takes down guardians. And he charges it up, fires away, and then booyah, shocks the shit out of Bill. Dang. Rest in spaghetti, never forget it. And then, you know, it's something you have to make sure to think about is that uh, Link has the metal sword and a metal shield. So that is not going to help him. Nintendo Ray said that you have to be careful with the elements. And that's something that's been prevalent since Skyward Sword. Uh, if you have a fortified shield or an iron shield, if you get hit by a lightning zap, zappity zap, zap, double D, smoked. All right. So Bill gets a game over. And that's it. Game over. Da, 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 da. And it's weird because the game over on this screen is yellow, but uh, on the demo, the game over was red. So, I mean, I don't know what's up with that. All right, Nate, you're going to do this. And now, Nate is swimming in a weird way. He's swimming in the way like Godzilla would. You know, he's dashing and swimming like, I would say, I, I wouldn't know, like, a, like a, a breaststroke. I don't know. I don't swim like that. So, Link gets up. And also, something that's notable that everyone's pointing out is that uh, it seems that you can get a, an expansion to your stamina bar, which is uh, another stamina wheel right here, like a wheel on the side of it. And I'm pretty sure maybe you'll be able to increase that wheel to get two wheels and then three wheels, whatever. Because there's going to be a lot of climbing in the game and a lot of stuff that you're going to need this uh, stamina bar for. So uh, if you can increase that instead of, you know, like increase it permanently, not uh, with potions or whatever, that'll be great. So this guy's sneaking around. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Man, this frame rate is really bothering me. Damn. All right, so he's ready to take down another Lizoflo or a Camellia foe, Chameleon. So there goes an arrow. Boom, headshot. But this guy was already, like, going to die soon anyways. I actually know his life bar was, was not even shown. So, I mean, and then did say if you hit an enemy's weak, uh, weak spot, you can take him out easier with more damage. So, boom, that guy is done. And see right there. You can see right there. The Lizalflo charging up the lightning arrow the same way as uh, regular arrows, uh, fire arrows, ice arrows would be charged up. Um, you see a circle around the arrowhead that goes down to the point before, you know, firing it off. And he does fire it. But this guy, you know, fires an arrow above him and boop. Yeah, damn, this guy has some practice with the wall. I'm, I'm envious. I want to play this game. And then right here we see Link with a downward stab strike to take out this enemy, which actually does two hits. Uh, one descending, and then the shockwave hits the rest of the life out of his bar. Uh, so, ashes, ashes, dust to dust. Now, this guy's going to go uh, up ahead and try and fight some foes. But you see here, this is like this is a temple-type deal. You can see, like, a mouth or whatever. But more interesting is that in the distance, and this guy's going to zoom in for us uh, really soon. And this is, that's right, you see a statue of Hylia in the background. Uh, we saw one similar to this in the Temple of Time. So once again, yeah, Hylia is going to be is going to be a huge deal in this game. Whether you like it or not, Scoured Sword, what up? So this guy is ready to go fight that giant Bokoblin. But okay, so he's like, he's ready. I'm ready. 
And then right here, two chameleon Lizalfos who just, you know, blended with the background. They kind of did look like statues at first, but I mean, like, knowing Zelda and whatnot, you know, any statues I see is like, oh, is that an armo? Is it going to get wrecked? So, yeah, we're going to wreck that person. So this guy is in the midst of finding these two chameleon-like Lizalfos, but uh, he makes uh, quick, short, uh, quick work of them. This guy's going to uh, initiate a Flurry Rush. But what's interesting about the Flurry Rush is that when he attacks with a sword, check this out. He attacks in different directions now. Because um, from what we've seen in uh, Breath of the Wild, when I played in the demo, Link only swung horizontally. You know, swipe, 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 and keeps on. But now look, he does like a diagonal, another diagonal, another diagonal, turns around for a horizontal, another diagonal. Yeah, some difference in sword play, dude. I'm, I'm so glad that they decided to do that because, you know, if Link can only swipe horizontally with a one hand sword, that was going to bother the hell out of me. But look at that. Diagonal. 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 Horizontal. Diagonal. Diagonal. Horizontal again. Yeah, some some variety up in this piece. Good. So then this guy, uh, go ahead and takes out uh, another Lizoflo and he breaks his broadsword. Uh, broadsword is actually one of my favorites. I I'm going to try and stock up on broadswords in this game. And gets an enhanced Lizal, Lizal Spear. You know, Lizaful enemies. And he uh, spears the heck of this guy. And he flings him back with an ending combo. But this thing is about to break. So let's do what we do best. And booyah. Just break that shit on him. And you just get another enhanced Liz uh, Lizaful spear. So, I mean, no biggie. It's all good in the hood. And then he zooms in again. And that is a Moblin because it, he drops Moblin stuff. And he's trying to go in with a different type of spear. But looks like the enemy AI is going to be really smart. He sees the bomb. He's not going to go headfirst into the bomb. So you have to be pretty smart or, you know, smart enough to outsmart these things. And uh, he's not smart enough with his bombs there. So let's go. Let's try and take this guy out. And I love how Link backflips. It looks so nice. All right. And he's going against uh, him with another Claymore. But this Claymore looks very different. Is this a lizard Claymore? Eh, I don't know. But something I like to point out. Go back. All right. So then he's like wrecking this dude, right? He gets up, makes sure it's to attack the leg. And you see he he strikes the leg. And that is what allows this guy to fall. He loses his balance. Right there. He strikes the leg. Right there. Boom on the foot. And the guy's like, oh. But he's still alive. So he gets back up. Uh, but then he's dead. Damn, that's a strike to the butt. And then he goes poof. And trying to pick up his club. Spiked Moblin Club. So this guy is definitely a Moblin. This is not a Bokoblin. I mean, like, I was, I said Bokoblin earlier. I meant to say Moblin. But that, that guy is actually, what we see as Moblin. See, like, they're Moblin Flan, Moblin Horn, Moblin, Moblin Flan. Those things are Moblins. So uh, that's pretty much it for the gameplay that we saw. Uh, if you have anything else you want to add, please let me know in the comment section below. I know you guys are going to complain about the frame rate. It's, uh, this thing looks... <sighs> It looks bad. I'm not going to lie. I love this game. This game looks great. But the frame rate, dude.